Hi there, Susan Boyle here. Hi, Susan Boyle here. Hi there, Susan Boyle here. Hi there, Susan Boyle here. I've been away for a while, but I'm back now with some surprises for you. Watch this space. 61 years young, reported net worth of $40 million and living in the most unlikely home. But behind all the glitz and glamour, there is a dark side to the Susan Boyle story. And there is a reason why we're all stuck asking ourselves, despite her massive success, where is she now? And it begins with before she was famous. Susan Boyle is the youngest of nine children and there were complications during her birth. She was briefly deprived of oxygen which left her with mild brain damage. Later, we will find out that that wasn't the case at all, but we'll get into that shortly. Whilst in school, Susan was diagnosed with learning disabilities for which she was frequently teased and bullied about. She found that she had a talent for music, but was very unsuccessful. In 1995, Susan Boyle unsuccessfully auditioned for the British TV talent show, My Kind of People. And in 1998, Susan recorded three tracks, Cry Me A River, Killing Me Softly, and Don't Cry For Me Argentina. She used all of her savings to pay for a professionally cut demo, copies of which she would later send to record companies, radio talent competitions, local and national TV, but never found any success. She then planned to audition for The X Factor, but abandoned that plan because she believed people were being chosen for their looks. It wasn't until she was 47 years old that she found success on Britain's Got Talent, but throughout all the love she received, there was this underlining criticism. The focus wasn't just on her amazing voice, but what she looked like, which from Susan's perspective, couldn't have felt nice. And although everything seemed to be on the up and up for Susan, and despite the common misconception, Susan Boyle did not win Britain's Got Talent. She came in second place, losing out to the dance group Diversity, which was a massive shock. All the news stories that year were about Susan Boyle and it seemed like this was a one horse race. She was basically guaranteed the win. After the show wrapped, staff from Britain's Got Talent contacted the police to say Susan was acting strangely at her London hotel. The police and ambulance attended the hotel. Susan was then took voluntarily by the ambulance to a prairie clinic. At the request of doctors, police accompanied the ambulance. Newspaper reports said that Susan had run amok backstage after her loss, shouting things like, I hate this show, before acting mentally unwell in her hotel. The build-up of pressure, huge international press, and placing second in the competition really affected Susan. She wasn't feeling well, she wasn't eating or sleeping, and this led to this hospitalisation. Yet, despite this, Susan signed a deal with Simon Cowell and began working on her debut album, which became the UK's number one best-selling debut album of all time. But the difficulty in dealing with pressure and fame continued on. And a big part of that, and why she would often act out, was due to a misdiagnosis from birth. In 2013, she revealed that she had been believed to have brain damage, but that wasn't the case. What it actually was, was Asperger's syndrome, a high functioning form of autism. Susan was also very close with her family and faced hardships there. The deaths of her mother and sister hit Susan hard. She also lost her older brother, not due to death, but through a public feud. Susan had fell out with her older brother Jerry back in 2013, after he allegedly threatened to take his own life if she didn't give him £50,000, which led to the two of them not speaking for three 
years. Then in 2016, she was faced with more mental hospitalization. She was admitted to hospital following an emotional outburst at the Heathrow airport. The airport staff reportedly became concerned for Susan after she started throwing a massive tantrum. The police ordered Susan into an ambulance against her will and transported her to a nearby hospital where she received a mental health evaluation. It was her brother Jerry who rushed to Susan's side when she broke the three year silence by ringing him in distress from the airport. She had a similar outburst at the Derry Airport in Northern Ireland when Susan was seen by airport staff screaming, help me, during a phone call in an airport lounge. But Susan's story is far from a tragedy. Susan was a small town wee Scottish lady who was past the point where if you're going to be successful in the music industry, it will happen. And yet, she is said to have made over £22 million during her career. She sold over 25 million albums, 250 million audio streams, over 650 million YouTube hits and counting, 8 studio albums, 2 Grammy nominations, 3 Guinness World Records, number 1 albums in 40 plus countries, 128 platinum and gold album certifications, and ranking among the likes of Beyonce, Adele and Taylor Swift having three or more number one albums in the UK. One of only 13 female artists in the history of the UK charts to do so and has a long list of awards. Yet throughout this, she is not one to flash the cash. She previously told Piers Morgan that she lives of a humble 300 to 500 pound weekly allowance just to keep her going. She also values her community and feels most content in her home. Despite the millions in her bank account, she hasn't bought a huge house in a sought after area. She instead purchased her very own ex council house which she grew up in. Taking one look at her home and you would not believe she has the net worth that she has. She also travels via the local bus, but that's the lifestyle she prefers to live. Some reports state that despite the millions in her bank, she applied for a local minimum wage job in the village where she's from. Why? Just to get out, just to see people, just to be more a part of the community. So yes, we don't see Susan Boyle as much as you would think you would, given how successful she is, but that is by design. 